Hey everyone, uh, Brad Brad here, and I'm sitting in my car because I live in a house now. But I'm just out here in my car, just, you know, doing music artist stuff, you know, because I'm an artist that uses music to do what I want. So, you know, that's how that is. Is, it, is this content? Is this how this works? I'm not sure. I don't know. Is this what you find to be entertainment? Where you've heard my music and you're like, oh, I need to find out about this guy. I need to care about this person. Well, you know what? How I feel doesn't matter. It doesn't. Art is art. And most of the art I've made has no emotion in it. Because it doesn't make me feel emotion. The only emotion that music makes me feel is anger. Whenever it... W and this is what it used to be. Whenever it didn't sound good. Like that vinyl record that... And that pops and clicks. That sounded awful. Like it sounded like garbage. It didn't sound like it was supposed to. And that used to be my belief system with music. And then, you know, I'm 32 years old. I've known about harsh noise and noise and experimental and John Cage and all these things since I was in high school, like in eighth or ninth grade, because I've studied music a lot, because I've been playing guitar for 22 years. So, with all that, since music has never done anything for me emotionally except for one time, I was tripping on shrooms, and I played a Martin, acoustic guitar, as someone that I used to associate with. And that was the first time that, like, I played music and, like, understood it, like, in an emotional level. Because whenever I first started playing, like, not too long into it, like, I would play something like, this is probably 2007. I'd play something, and it'd give me chills, and I would stop. Because I didn't like that feeling. Like, I wouldn't want to go and listen to someone scrape a chalkboard, you know? Like, that gives me the exact same feeling. So, like, obviously I would stop playing something if it gave me that effect. But now, like, with my reflection on my journey as a music artist and everything I've made, I don't just make one thing. If you listen to something and think that's all I do, you don't know me. I do it all. I do everything that I want. If it's something I want to listen to, it's something I make. And now with all this, as I ramble on for the purpose of entertainment and the one person that might... Oh, I have to connect this artist with their music... Oh, I have to know if this person is a good person before I support their music. I don't care. Charles Manson makes music. He had the charisma to make people believe in him. He got people to do what he wanted. Just by telling them. Just by having personality. Having a voice. Knowing how to use it. He never killed anyone, but he got people killed. That's the difference. If people would have said to him, hey, you are responsible for people dying, maybe he would have been like, yeah, you know what? I was. But everyone was like, hey, you killed people. He's like, no, I didn't, because he didn't. He caused people to die. It was not by his hand, but by his word. But that kind of logic just, woo flies over the head of some as if it's an airplane up in the sky and with modern technology you can't even tell it's there because it's that quiet. Remember back in the day whenever an airplane flown over you had to shut your mouth and wait because you would have had to repeat whatever you just said anyway so you just waited because you knew. Expectations are the limitations of art. Once I disregarded my expectations of what I thought music should be, I started loving it and enjoying it so much more. 
it actually gave music a purpose to me other than being something I did because I liked it. So now I make real fucking art. And whether it matters, it doesn't. Art is art. It doesn't have to have a purpose. The only purpose art has is one that is inflicted upon the viewer. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Ideas are in the mind of the thinker. If you don't think, you don't have ideas. If you don't have ideas, you don't think. And that's all I gotta say as I ramble on, and I doubt that you listened to me this far. Because I know what I'm talking about, and you're not trying to learn. But, if you want to call this a vlog, a channel update, an education, on the concept of belief and ideas regarding art, then you've heard some of what needs to be said, if not all. Rad Brad.